Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Amanda and today we are just kind of diving right into this. I'm going to be showing you these spice jars that I actually showed you in last week's video, but we are finally getting around to taking them out and I'm going to get them in the sink to wash them up. My plan was to do an intro for this video because I knew we would just be diving into it, but I kind of forgot. Um, this video has taken me like a whole week to actually do and I am literally editing this the day before and so far I've been editing for four hours and now I just have to do my voiceover and in between there we ended up going bowling and had so much fun and I just forgot to do my intro and then lost track of time but you know how it is when life gets to you but in today's video it's going to be just um a part one of a part two of cleaning up my kitchen. This video is going to be the decluttering and organizing. I have done quite a few of my cabinets in videos and off videos. And these are some of the ones that I really need to focus on here. And then of course I need to clean out my fridge as well. It's always something you have to do of course. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. Like I mentioned, I'm going to get these all washed up and then I'm just going to lay them out to dry. So I'm just going to let those hang out to dry and I'm going to move on over to my fridge here and it is pretty crazy over here. We actually had a Walmart pickup order that we were going to get and uh, it actually did not come in until the next day. It just kept pushing back from like a half hour to an hour and then it was two hours. So we just rescheduled it. We don't know what was going on. I was kind of thinking it was because the weather, um, it was supposed to be really bad the next day. So I kind of think that was what the deal was. Um, but that's okay. I needed to get the fridge cleaned out anyways. So I'm just going to get all this out and I did go through everything off camera and uh, get everything put back in there.
now that everything is out of the fridge, I'm going to start putting everything back and I'm starting with the door here and I just kind of tried to organize all of the condiments as well as I could by trying to make them fit in this side door here. And then I am going to do the rest of the fridge as well. And I tried to do a little bit of the ASMR kind of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I try and do that every now and then. Um, my house is usually pretty loud or I'm watching something on um, the tablet or something like that. Quiet is not really a thing anymore. I guess I'm not really used to the quietness anymore. So I start getting very antsy if I don't have some type of background noise. But I did throw a few MSR clips into this video. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here is the before and then I will show you the after and I tell you it's always so satisfying to see the befores and afters. And I did go ahead and throw in our Walmart haul. It is a pretty small haul, but it's just things that we were running out of or needed. So I will go ahead and throw those in and then we will clean the top of the fridge off.
my head again Making my way through crowded thoughts Sometimes it's hard to get out of it Broke my heart in the dark I was just trying to feel something Falling asleep to the sound of it Always used to let you clean up the messes Down on my knees, thought I couldn't stand up on my own Turns out sometimes he's stronger alone Bringing out the fight The top of the fridge is so, so dusty And honestly, like, it's no surprise to me because I'm constantly cleaning off our countertops like literally every day before I cook anything or just to clean it off if I come in here and don't really have anything else to do. I clean off the countertops and this is why is because our kitchen gets extremely dusty and I kind of think it's because you know we got the cat tower in the kitchen. Our dogs kind of hang out in the kitchen um, with having a baby you know. Our oldest is not, um, our oldest dog is not like a fan of little kids because you can see her kind of like, I am like, what is this kid doing right now? But she's never been like aggressive or anything like that. She just kind of like stares like what is happening? So, you know, we don't ever want to cross those boundaries. So we leave them back in the kitchen or they go upstairs and lay in their beds. But, and plus like right outside of our back door it's nothing but kind of like dirt from where the dogs kind of bolt out of the door to go potty and I think that has a lot to do with that as well so it honestly doesn't surprise me how yucky the top of the fridge was because you know I don't clean it off very often but um yeah so now that I'm all done with that I'm going to go ahead and get everything put back and then we are going to move on to cleaning out some cabinets Cause this heavy as a season And the sun is always right behind the storm Bringing out the fight, yeah With all the lightning Cause I'm looking for a hero Look inside the mirror I found one Oh, carry the hurt when it gets too hard Pick it up, dust it off So this cabinet here I actually cleaned out I think a few months ago because it got out of hand and of course it got out of hand again. So I am first going to start off by taking out all of these bags right here. Tyler ended up picking me up this um, organizer thing for your drawers and it was kind of like the one that I wanted off of Amazon but the one on Amazon it was like all attached and you could put it on the wall, in a drawer, on the fridge wherever you kind of wanted to put it and um, but he's seen this at Costco and picked it up for me because he knew I wanted something like this and I was like okay great I'll make this work well my plan was to put it on the fridge because that little white box right there has command strips in it but as soon as I took them out of the pack I'm like oh the back of them are not flat I was like it's all right I'm still gonna make it work so I did go ahead and just use them in the drawer. You will see that in just a couple minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and get these filled up with all of the bags that I have.
And now here is the drawer that I'm going to be putting all these in. And honestly, like all this can just go because a lot of it is um, like I have two different sets of measuring cups and measuring spoons. Well, actually three different measuring cups um, styles. I don't know what you want to call them. So, and I'm missing quite a few of them from each one. And Tyler ended up getting me these ones that um, I've been wanting for a while and they are so, so nice. I will be showing you guys those here soon. And of course the cake baking stuff, um, decorating kit. I haven't touched that honestly since uh, our baby uh, gender reveal like two years ago or, or however long it's been. I can't think of right now. It's almost like midnight and I'm trying to get this done. And our internet just went out, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this uploaded. Um, but here's everything that was in this drawer. And um, I only kept like a couple things here. You will obviously see that. But now I'm just going to play um, a little game trying to get these in here. And uh, <laughs> I can't think of the game called Tetris. Is it Tetris? Um, and get these to where they will fit in here and then I will show you guys the really nice measuring cups and spoons. Asked you how life has been I am braver through the phone It's been a long time Since you were all mine In the wilderness That's where I've been After a long night And some red wine Could you see me like that? See me like that So again, the befores and afters, and I, like I mentioned, didn't really keep anything from these drawers except the like condiment little containers and that's about it. Um, Cause that's honestly all that we ever used out of there anyways. So now that that is done, we are going to go back to the cabinet here and start taking everything out of here. And I do have a little helper that ends up coming in to help me get everything out of here. That boy cracks me up. He always says the darndest things. Do you need this or not? <laughs> like probably not, but we're going to keep it because we use it every now and then. <laughs> but now that everything is out of there, I'm going to put everything that we are actually keeping back in here. And this is everything that was in the cabinet here. And I did end up doing it differently this time. And yeah, as you can see, I still have some containers over there that weren't even in the cabinet. They were sitting there because I couldn't throw them in there uh, because it was so crazy in there. Um, but I did end up just putting the lids on all of the containers. So then that way we can just pull the whole thing out. We don't have to pull the container out and then find the lid. And this kind of worked out a little better. So yeah, again, here's your befores and your afters. And it just looks so much better and I'm hoping this will last a little longer than a few months here so it's kind of my fault I let it get out of hand but now that that is done we are going to go over to the spice rack and I think this was like my favorite part um I understand now why people get obsessed with the labels and everything just looking so clear and it just looks so clean and everything like that so we're going to get everything off of here. I'm going to clean the rack here and go through all of the spices. 
Now these clips here, I had all the intentions of doing some ASMRs. I'm like, this is going to be awesome. And then as I go back to edit, I'm like, Amanda, turn the tablet off. <laughs> because like, it still sounded pretty neat, um, but you could hear my tablet in the background. So it kind of sounded like chipmunks. And I don't know if that, like anybody would actually enjoy that. So I just muted all of it and um, went on about it. But I absolutely love these containers and the labels I feel like are very forgiving and they do have blanks here as you can see with my horrible handwriting, but it is fine. I'm sure if I had my Cricut that I could make the label with that, but it is in the basement and I just don't wanna drag it out. So handwriting, whatever I need to on the labels here but again I feel like they're pretty forgiving because I did put one on Cricut and I ended up just taking it right back off and placing it back on there which is super nice so they're not like an actual sticker but they um they stick I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this they look good <laughs> so I'm going to just fill up as many jars as I can with like the spices that um are in the plastic containers that I want to put in the glass ones here. And then all of my other ones that have the like silver lids, um, I'm going to keep those the way that they are. And then once they are emptied, I'm thinking about just like um, giving them to somebody or maybe putting them in a yard sale for like five bucks or something like that, just to get rid of them because I know like people like to do this. They like to clean and organize like things like this to make it look good. So I feel like somebody would enjoy these jars. They just don't match mine now that I have the black ones. Um, and I'm literally obsessed with how organized and just, I don't, I don't even know the right words. It just looks so good. And you guys will see that at the end. I don't know how many times I just keep staring at the spice rack just because it looks so good and I'm not used to seeing something so organized like that I guess I don't know but I definitely understand why people get very obsessed with it and have them in their fridges and just like any cabinet they can have it I totally get it now Okay, so now this is what we are dealing with right now. And like I mentioned, those are those um, other jars that I was talking about. And then this stuff here, not putting it in the black jars, um, like the pumpkin spice, I don't use that very often to put it in anything. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. Plus I know I have some 
more spices up in that cabinet, but I'm not going to worry about that cabinet right now until it is time to come to it. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything on the spice rack here. So my little baby was napping and he ended up waking up and Tyler brought him into me and it was a big day today because he actually got his first haircut and you're probably looking at it like it doesn't look like it's cut. We did a mullet. I'm not even gonna lie about it. And you know, some people were like, oh, mullet, blah, 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 blah. but it turned out perfectly because by the time she got done with his front, he was like tired of it. So mullet it is. He looks so cute. His bangs are out of his face. But the spice rack, doesn't it look so much better? Like, look at those spices in those black jars. Perfect. I'm obsessed with it. So now we are going to move into the cabinet that I was just talking about. And I have no idea what's in here. But I will um, say that there's a lot in here that um, is probably bad. So we're going to get everything out and then go through everything. So everything is out of the cabinet and honestly like I knew there was a bunch of like stuff in there but it kind of like I was like whoa I had no idea like I had these sprinkles in here I had like how many is that like three four five six seven seven different types of um food coloring these chocolate chips and stuff like I didn't know all that was in there but I knew it was too much um but I narrowed it down to all of the stuff that is good. And then I ended up finding some of this um, liner. And it's not, it doesn't match the rest of the liner, but it's okay. It's on the top of the cabinet uh, above the microwave and nobody is going to see it. So, and then these spices here, I want to get put in jars, but I'll do that here after a bit. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get everything in the cabinet here. So we are all done and here is your before and then I will show you the after. Um, I did want to mention like, you know, as nice as it, as it is having the jars that like match with my spice jars and stuff, like I'm, I'm obsessed. Have I said that? I don't think I've said it in the past five seconds, <laughs> but I am obsessed with them. It looks so, so good, but that doesn't mean that you have to have all of the drawers and the lazy Susans and all of that, um, to organize your home. And I kind of feel like that's the way a lot of it is made to, to seem like you have to have all this stuff to organize it, but I'm cheap and don't want to get all that. And plus I stress out that I'm going to get the wrong thing and then I gotta return it and it's a whole thing. So we're not going to worry about it. But now I'm moving on to the kitchen here, um, this cabinet here. I did do those pan, that pan rack like a few months ago. And uh, I'm finally getting to the other side of the cabinet and getting all this stuff taken out. Again, had no idea all this stuff was in there, but I'm glad I'm finally getting to it. Okay, so here is everything that was in the cabinet here. And this is so much stuff for being on just that one side of the cabinet. 
Um, so that's pretty crazy, but I did end up going through everything, of course, off camera and got rid of anything that was bad or just things that we weren't using. Um, and then I'm going to try and just set everything back in here as organized as I can. And, um, that is going to be it for this, uh, cabinet area. Broke my heart in the dark. I was just trying to feel something. Falling asleep to the sound of it Always used to let you clean up the mess Okay, so here is the before and I will show you the after and it is so funny as I'm sitting here editing this my um, oldest son seen that I was on this part and opened up the cabinet and was like, wow, it's beautiful I'm like, thank you, buddy. Thank you that's what I'm going for. So it looks so much better. I'm so glad that I finally got this cleaned out because it's been like this for longer than I would like to, um, to say. Uh, but now a couple of drawers I am going to go through, um, it has all kinds of stuff in here. These, uh, gloves that just don't fit. I just need to get rid of them. All of the suction medicine cups, all the things that when my youngest had to take medicine on the daily, um, I did end up keeping a couple, I know nowadays like medicine comes with those, all of that stuff, but I just want to be on the safe side and it's a lot better than having all 20 of them stuck in a drawer here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put everything that I'm keeping back into the drawer and then I'm going to move on to a drawer that has our hand towels in and, um, all of the fast food packets that we, um, don't don't need uh don't even know if they're good don't even know how long they've actually been in there um and uh yeah that's going to be it for today's video like i did mention this is part one of part two part one was the decluttering and organizing part two is going to be more of the deep cleaning so if you don't want to miss that make sure you hit subscribe down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you guys in the next one